What's up you guys? So, as you can see from the title, I am going to talk about my paranormal experiences part 2. Today is the best time to talk about paranormal things or scary stuff. It is Halloween. And I am going to and thank God my orders came on time. So, thank God. So it's cuz this is my only free time. That I can make a video whole day it's up to you if you do believe in these ghosts spirits or anything like that it's up to you to judge please let me know if maybe you have an idea that it might be something else yeah but this is just based on my experiences of I do believe in this spirit we are a spiritual beings I am also going to start doing face art so uh, yeah um, just keep in mind this is my first time to make face art I've never done that before uh, I only did body painting before back there in college in Bacolod so I did body paint but I wasn't doing the face but what I'm going to do now this is the first time that I will do that on myself I hope you guys really enjoy the video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel because then I will be making more videos for you guys. And yeah, let's just get started. I don't want to start talking too much. Okay, so this was back in the day where um, I think I was around 10 or 11. Um, I was in the house. My, my parents were not even around. Oh shit, that's so pigmy. Anyways, uh, my parents were not even around. Uh, I, they were both working and my sister was at school. So I think, um, I can't remember why I w was I at home. I don't know, did I went home early or it was... Anyways, I can't really remember why I was at home. But I was at home basically by that time. Um, I remember I was actually on maybe on a computer uh, yeah I was at the computer because we have a balcony and there was a chair right there and I kind of heard like the chair was dragging so the chair was like rocking back and forth at first I was trying to find a logical reason that maybe it's windy and my chair it was it was just a small chair it wasn't really a, it was a small plastic chair um, but it was actually sturdy so I'm not even used to talking while I'm doing something I'm really bad at multitasking I'm the type of person who just do things one at a time 12 seconds late but then suddenly it kind of sounded like there was a footstep you know oh that was so pigmented I did not expect how strong was that anyways um, so I kind of like heard a footstep or something like was murmuring like was like, like something was talking you know and uh, Oh shit, I think I just ruined it. It's so difficult to talk while doing something. Oh sh So what I did, I just... Um, I took the bat, it's a baseball bat, and I was trying to get all my courage to check. So I left the house. And, um, oh shit, I just ruined something. Oh no, it's okay. Um, I just left the house. While I was leaving the house, our neighbors, uh, she was actually my age. She got so scared that, why am I holding the bat? And why do I look so intense? Because when I went out of the house, I was like, so intense. So she thought that, like, what the hell? Because I just suddenly get got out of the house and she was just passing by. And then she just, oh my god. Like, what is wrong with you? What, why are you carrying the bat? It looks like I'm angry, you know. <sighs> Resting bitch face problem. Whatever I'm feeling, it's always good. It's, I will always look like I'm angry. So, I went out. I didn't say anything. I just looked at the balcony because it was high up there. So I was like looking at the balcony up there. And I kid you not, I swear I just saw a hand. A hand with a ring. It was like a guy and then I told her come come did you see that did you see that and she came and looked suddenly there was no hands but I could have swore 
that I saw a hand because it was so clear. Uh, the guy came up and he was wondering why are we looking up there in the balcony like he, he just wanted to help. I just said, oh no, there is someone in the balcony. He didn't say anything. He took the bat from me. He went to the house and I opened the door for him and he, he went inside the house and checked on the balcony. But then there was no one. The chair was exactly where it was. I do not know what to say with my... I really do not know why. But it sounded like I'm crazy because he was like, there's nobody here. And then the girl was like, yeah, there's no one. And I was like, what the hell? I could have swore that I saw... I heard it. I heard it. Like, I stayed there for like a good whole minutes like maybe 20 minutes or 15 minutes trying to convince myself that it was nothing it was just wind but you know what it wasn't even windy so now i'm like wondering was that a ghost spirit or i am just that crazy okay guys so i just did my eyeliner off camera i couldn't do it really while i'm talking so yeah this is not my first time to use it. Okay, so I will use that. I do not know if I would add water or not, but I just didn't dip anything with water because I will just see if it really works without it. Literally, I used the wrong color. I thought it was black. <laughs> but it was actually dark green. Okay, I looks really stupid. <laughs> okay, let, let, let me just... That was during the time I was in Bacolod. And um, I, I think I was on Facebook that time, sitting with my laptop. I think I was listening to music or I was watching something. And then suddenly I heard a bell. It sounded like an ice cream bell. You know the ice cream bell? I checked on it and I noticed and it was 2 a.m. in the morning. So what the hell is that sound? So I was like, okay, uh, it's the wind, maybe it's the neighbor, I don't know, something like that. So, but there was, you know what's the funny part? there was actually no wind like literally no wind at all but I don't know where that shit came from and why is there an ice cream bell and that's so weird because I don't really hear that around so I want to make sure that it is uh, it's not my mind tricking me but then I heard it again that was really something messing with me and what I did was, I then I went on YouTube, I was playing some religious recitation, then it stopped. So, I asked one of my friends, what do you think is that? She told me, maybe it was, you know, during the Spaniard time shit, things like that. And it does sometimes come in a form of bell. But you know what? I wasn't really scared that time. I was actually annoyed. Oh, so another story is, that happened also in Bacolod City inside the house i was um pretty much taking a nap because it was a broad daylight i think i was very very tired i just took a nap and it was it was 12 in the noon i think so i i just came from college now this one is actually a sleep paralysis thing okay so okay i'm, I'm still trying my best to talk here so i was falling asleep i thought i was awake I saw, it wasn't like I saw the boy, it was like, you know, you can see the figure, but it was transparent, that kind of thing. So what the boy did, he came from my sister's room, because it's in the other side, so my, the boy came, came to me, and was tapping on me, and I can literally feel his little fingers tapping on me, and it's a boy, I just knew it was a boy. He didn't say a word, he just did like that to me, and I can clearly feel and see that he was doing this. So I assume it was like a spirit or a homeless child asking for money. And after he did that, he did like that, 
He kind of laughed a little bit, giggled a little bit, and then he, it repeated again. It, it came back to me, it tapped on my hand, and do like this, laugh, went back to my sister's room. Then came back like three, four times, he kept doing the same over and over and over again. To the point I got so scared. Finally, I woke up. I woke up feeling like, did I just saw a spirit but in my dream? And I was laying down exact same position, exactly like as if I never even slept. There is a scientific um, explanation to that. Uh, they said that when you are very stressed out or tired, you can experience these, you know. They call it like a REM sleep. But the next one is exactly the same thing, but this time it was just voices. I cannot identify if it's a woman or a man. But since it sounded a little high-pitched voice, so I would just say it's a woman, keeps calling my name. And then the voice gets louder, 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 to the point my eardrums really hurt. The next one is actually a dream, not sleep paralysis or anything like that. Yeah, let me just do this first because I cannot talk. Can you guess what is that? I bet you cannot. Oh, you know, I'm starting to enjoy this face art thing. I never knew like I would enjoy this. Kind of like, kind of enjoy this more than actual painting. Sit down. You know, I do paint, but I don't know. It's it's just that tired of painting. I don't know. I uh, the last time I painted was a long time ago. Drawing, yeah, I did draw. I'm still drawing, but I'm not painting. So the next one was I dreamt of a white lady. I remember I was in my room. My parents called me out of the house. The house was like starting to to shake. You know, it was starting to shake. It was it was so windy. It's like as if it was a, there was a tornado. Then I remember I went out of the room, looked at the living room, and my dad, my sister was like calling me to to leave the house. But while I was going out, I went to the backyard. But then when I went back to the house, because I think I for I forgot something. I don't know. I forgot someone. I think so it was someone, I don't know who, maybe my sister, I think? My grandparents, my mother... Anyways, I just for, I was trying to call someone out. But while I went inside, I already saw the white lady. She was floating to the ceiling, staring. Staring right at me. Staring at me, and she was floating just really high above the ceiling looking at me, she was wearing a long, typical, like every white lady stories, a typical white long gown. Her hair was a little medium, not too long, not too short either, it was just like that. She was like staring, I couldn't see the face very well, you know the feeling that you know that she's looking at you but you cannot really see? That one. And I can't remember, so I did continue to get whoever was that, I forget who was that. Anyways, I don't want to force it, but I was trying to get someone out, and then when I, when they went out, I don't know why I was so brave in the dream that I kind of told the white lady to basically, you know, f*** off. I don't know. Yeah, I remember. I, I told the white lady to leave the house. Leave. And I think she was like, laughing? She was laughing. She was actually laughing at me. So that was just a dream, but I was actually brave in the dream. Oh shit, I think I put too much. That is too big. Oh no, that feeling you get that I kind of ruined it. You know what, f*** it. I can do that again. My hand is a little shaky, but... There we go, I think that's, I think that's good. 
how my hands are already starting to shake but it, it wasn't like that before the story is that it was still like during the cold my uh, dad was there with us it was time to it was night time but there is always something about his room because I think they were close to the garden or they were close to the backyard um, their windows are facing the backyard and our backyard has some trees that was already there in the beginning so oh my god I don't know if it's not it doesn't look proportion you know what I'm just going to do it again now I think it's better anyways there is always something about my dad's room we believe and he believes that I think there was an entity that is living there because of the tree he always get nightmares and you know I also get nightmares a lot now that because I'm watching a lot of paranormal investigating things suddenly I think what pops in my head I think the house is I wouldn't say it's haunted I would just say that it has a lot of spirits around I wouldn't say it's haunted paranormal things doesn't happen thank god it doesn't happen it was just a feeling of uneasiness uncomfortableness my dad already guessed it he's also very highly intuitive he kind of feels like there is something was there he prays a lot and uh, every time he prays every single day the tree slowly dies down out of nowhere the tree is old that was old and way before the house was even built we tried to bless the place he felt there was something about that tree he cut the tree off suddenly out of nowhere it got so sick and you know guess what he went to the masseuse he told me you know the masseuse the lady she asked him that very weird question did you cut the tree he was like yeah how did you know she didn't answer that question but she just said that's why you're sick there was something living in that tree actually my dad knew that that there's something in that tree it's just that that lady confirmed it she's uh, she's psychic for sure because how does she know then my dad told me about it and i was like oh crap i want to meet that woman funny part she she actually came to our house but i never saw her face you know why because i was sick that time i was actually sick i got a flu but my the flu was because of the rain. I went outside. I wasn't holding any umbrella and I wasn't even expecting the rosary. So I was just walking all the way and coming back all the way. And I got no choice. So I got my friend with me. So we were just like dancing in the rain, you know, and stuff like that. Like having fun with the puddles and all that kind of shit. Because you know what? We're, we're already like, we're already soaked anyway. Plus we needed to go home because that was nighttime. Anyways, that lady, she came to our house and she gave me a massage and she really was healing me you know what's so funny i just noticed that now i got actually healed the next i was sick for a long time but then i got better and i never got to see the, her face but i saw her face but it was so blurry she was looking at me while she's massaging but it was so blurry because i was so tired because i was wondering who's massaging me and then my dad told me after when she left that was the lady who is happens to be also psychic I'm like, oh shit, I... You know, I'm scared of psychic, but I'm so intrigued by it because how do they, they know something? And I really wanted to know sometimes, you know? My dad is actually pretty psychic, but he just chooses not to. He doesn't want to focus on that. Actually, that, that woman even told him, you are actually psychic, but you just choose, but you closed your third eye. You just don't want to deal with it. It's kind of scary to have that kind of gift, you know? My mom also has also experiences as well. So psychic ability in us was very strong. Not, not psychic in a way that I would, you would know everything, not that way, like we all are psychics because we are all spiritual beings, it's just that somebody are more developed than the other, you are more developed for someone, you are also, you could be less developed compared to someone else, so it's, it's, it's like a talent too. My sister this time, she uh, had a dream and that dream was really weird because she dreamt that she was being drowned in a bathtub with blood imagine you dreaming that you were being drowned in a pool of blood in a bathtub that's kind of scary shit you know so this is back then 2013 in Bacolod again <laughs> my both grandparents passed away in the same year 
it was my grandfather. He passed away, um, I think it was June or July, something like that. A month later or two months later, it's like my grandmother followed. Um, I get it, they've been together for a long time. My grandmother been with him when she was 14 years old. Imagine for all these years, suddenly your significant other passed away. I, I dreamt of her and him and my grandfather that they were kind of, they pa keep in mind when I dreamt that they passed away already. So I dreamt that probably the next month. Anyways. I was trying, I was gonna sneeze. Uh, so I dreamt of them rooming around. It's like they were watching the house. So I remember that in the living room, all the families were in the living room. My aunt, my uncle, everybody were in the living room and I was there with them. And all of them were looking outside because our living room kind of has windows and stuff like that. So the windows are all open and then we all looked and then we saw them my grandfather, my grandmother, there was a, a tricycad. Um, there's tricycad is basically a tricycle, okay, but not with an engine. And it was so common in Bacolod, not here in Manila, in Bacolod. So we call it, it's a cicad, tricycad, and they were following the tricycad. So we were just roaming around the house. That's it. And we all looked, and suddenly I asked that question. I said, aren't they dead? And that's it. And that's the end of the dream. That time I knew they were dead, and why are they walking so weirdly like that? Why are they just like, like robotic? And they were not even looking at us, they were just walking, rooming around. What I feel, I think they were just around, their spirit are just around, and they're probably watching over the house and stuff like that. Now the next one is actually scary. I mentioned earlier that thank god nothing happened paranormal but then I remember something did happen paranormal I was back there again in Bacolod I don't know why a lot of things happen in Bacolod I don't know if it's just our house man actually happened it was me my friend and my sister were in the house okay my dad my mom not in the country anyways one night i think it was around 11 or 12 or, or no no it was around 1 a.m i think um, we heard literally we all of us heard the chair outside was being dragged at first we were like saying you know what it may be the wind we wish it was the wind, but it wasn't. So, because right after when that chair dragged all around the house, it was like, zzz, 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 and then zzz, zzz, like, it keeps dragging, and sometimes there's one time, and then it stopped completely, and then suddenly it's like, zzz, zzz. so we were peeking in the window, so we were like saying, come, 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 check the window, check with the window, just a little bit, just a little bit. So, we kind of checked the window, we just did like that, but we didn't see anyone. And you know, the house is like, and it's dark, so no, we have lights around, but it's like we didn't see anything. That, that's all I can say. So we really didn't see anything, nor anyone. And when we were checking, it's like, I don't know if the sound stopped or it continued. So there, it was literally dragging all the way in the living room. But that's, bear in mind, that's outside the house, okay? So all the way into the living room part, but then, you know, you know, because we um, the lights were turned on outside, so basically anybody would pass by the window, you can see their the shadow, you can see the silhouette or anything. So we were looking at the window right there. The house is completely dark, okay? Because, I mean, come on, we're, we're about to sleep, so it's kind of dark. Then, all we see in the window was just the leaves, you know, moving a little bit. Just a little bit. At first we thought it was wind, but that would be such a strong wind for it to be able to move the chair. And if you would look outside, the trees were just slightly moving, it's just a little wind. And then we heard footsteps, literal footsteps, like 
like crushing down on those leaves was walking around this is when we knew in our head we knew no this is a person this is a person who's trying to get into the house and then because we do hear like some sound like tapping sound in the door and stuff like the windows that was the scariest moment so what happened i tried to contact um and yeah bear in mind it was actually raining yeah i remember it was raining so hard that time but there was a slight wind it wasn't really windy but it was raining so hard that time so what of course the first thing we do we contacted our uh, my aunt i contacted them to come over but they couldn't come over for some reason because it's rainy and stuff like that and i told them there is literally someone outside but they didn't come one of my friend contacted our boss that time i was still working i was actually schooling and working she called our boss she did um contacted the police so she contacted the police to come over to our house she asked for our address and she contacted the police the police came after five minutes or ten minutes something like that they came and they were like police police and i, I got so relieved that time we opened the door and then we told him everything but during those five to ten minutes oh god that they were still moving around they were still banging on the door and stuff like that there was a lot of things but you know what's so weird about that there was no attempt to get in the house it's kind of weird it was just like moving around so when the time the police checked around our house there was nothing there was literally nothing so uh so we assumed that time we were like no maybe probably the person ran away and left so we got the police number and everything like that and just in case something like that happened because we were just the only one sometimes we are alone in that house so we needed some security that time fast forward to now the reason why i think that might be also paranormal because first of all we didn't see anything second of all it is standing right it, it feels like the chair was being dragged right exactly in front of the window but there was no silhouette another thing there was no attempt of getting inside the house and there was nothing outside our house to be stolen that's one thing and that would be also impossible if it's the wind because there was no actual wind would be able to drag the chair around all around the house and then there will be banging on the door and that's clearly impossible that the rain would be dragging the chair all around now because i'm watching some paranormal activities and stuff like that i realize what if that was something paranormal what if it wasn't really a person so fast forward 2018 i'm already in manila this time after so long now i realize i think it was something to do with the house it wasn't something to do with me because then it would have it, anywhere i go i would literally feel and dream something like that but it wasn't me it was probably the house but now um fast forward to manila 2018 after a long time i dreamt of something so yeah i was uh, laying down i was sleeping i was alone there was a hallway suddenly there was a silhouette coming from the hallway it was a weird figure then it went down so i couldn't really see where is it going but i know that it's coming towards me but then suddenly when it goes up just right in front of my bed like going up like that i realize it was a devil got a horn it's like a horn of a ram or a sheep or a goat i don't know you know a horn is like this so i saw that and it was like a very it was like a human figure but it was moving really weird and it was crawling on top of my bed i woke up i prayed i couldn't sleep again i stayed awake a little bit for a few minutes um, even though I was so sleepy, I stayed awake for a few minutes. I slept again and nothing happened. You know, I realize I'm not even drawing. <laughs> it's funny. So while I was sleeping, 
um, it would happen during the quarantine time. I was actually facing the door and then suddenly someone, it feels like someone was tapping on me and it was a hand of a woman. Oh shit, that was so strong. I didn't expect that to be too reddish. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Okay. Okay, calm down. Calm down with this shit. Sorry guys, I really can't speak while I'm doing something. I just realized it's so difficult to do that. Because if I will be speaking while I'm doing, I'm trying my best now, it's I will literally make mistakes and I, or I would just not finish what I'm doing. Bear with me guys. Looks so complete mess anyways while i was being touched in the hand the weird part is the door started opening it feels so real and i woke up in the same position again it feels like i wasn't even asleep a couple of months ago as well i was sleeping the door was open and the um there was a fat man but he was facing that direction my room is actually there so the man was facing there it's, it's kind of like there he's looking at the window and he was wearing like it was in in the 18 or 1900s hat tuxedo everything i can't really recognize the face but he was just kind of short and fat i know he was fat because his stomach was big but he was actually looking up there and i was looking at him like first of all what is he doing here and at the same time why is he just awkwardly stand there looking at the window so this was about the same month. I think it was uh, April. Last day, just last April. I literally saw a white lady again. But this time, she seems a little young. I can't see her face because her hair is completely covered. Like, it's just like that. It looks like in the movie The Grudge, something like that. But I can see the details of her clothes. The details, oh my god, the de it looks like a nightgown. But there was a slight ribbon. It was like little lace and ribbons. I was sleeping. I thought again I was asleep. All of a sudden, something like it feels like something woke me up. And I looked in front of me. It was just in the corner right of my bed. And that lady was like floating up. Her head just touched the ceiling. And her hair was so damn long but very dry. I cannot see the face. But she was really pale and white. She was just like looking at me. But like, you know, like this, but all her, you know, face was covered and she was just like doing this. You know, she was like pointing at me or, or doing like that. That time I was actually reading religious things, also spiritual things, getting... I was reading and watching about these like for already a month that time. Yeah, so I was just reading some religious texts, watching some religious things, um, reading about the spirit spirituality, and that happened. I dreamt about that. And it was around 2 or 3 a.m. in the morning. Right away, what I thought of was she kind of needed help. It's because I was half asleep, so I tried to force my sight just to really look closely. You know what? Suddenly, it fades very slowly. It starts to fade away. Like, literally, I'm not joking. I'm not even, I'm not making this up. It's kind of like real, but it just appears in a form of a dream. So that was actually really scary and intense because it feels like there was a presence that time. This one, I was with my friend that time and I was like sleeping and all of a sudden there was a knock on the door. The knock was so aggressive and I was like asking my friend, how come someone would be knocking on that door by 2 a.m. in the morning? And I was knocking so aggressively, like do 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 like this. And it was a guy and he said he's selling milk. It's, it sounds funny and creepy at the same time. And he said, I'm selling milk, and then we just said, no, we don't need it, we don't need it, we don't need it. And I just like tried to shrug it off and tell him to leave already because I, we don't want to buy milk, we don't want to open the door. But 
That knock became even more aggressive and he was shouting that he is selling milk. We got so scared even more, we went to the room and asked him to leave. And I woke up. Funny part, my friend was sitting on the same position just as when I woke up. Weird. It's like I tapped in to another dimension, to the spirit world, and then went back to the 3D world, to reality. So this is actually a dream. I dreamt that I was with a friend inside this house, and all of a sudden my friend t called me from my room, asked me, look at these butterflies trying to get in the house. So I went out of my room and I looked. There was like a lot of black butterflies trying to get into the house. My friend right away shut the door and the butterfly couldn't enter. So at that moment, right away, the first thing came in my mind was death and souls. So it's either there will be news of death or those are spirits or those are souls trying to get in. We realized it was death because one of my friend's relative passed away. I knew why I dreamt like that. As you know, dreams are just, you know, you should really understand the symbol. You know what I mean? You have to understand the symbols of each dream. Butterflies could be a good meaning, but if it's black or dark, really dark, that has like a different meaning that. But if you dream of white, yellow, I think it's like a good omen or a good dream, actually. So each dreams can have a lot of symbols, a lot of meaning. If you dream of water, if you dream of, let's say, just a sea of water, that could represent your emotions, that could represent the stress or the emotion things that happens in your reality, in the real life. I've been communicated most of the time through dreams, but not very direct. Like, the communication is so indirect. It comes in a form of symbol. You know, even animals has a symbol and it can imply in your real life. So one time I remember in back in Cairo, Egypt, then I dreamt of a dog coming at me too friendly and suddenly when I tried to pet it, it bit my hand. Right away I thought, the dog represents friend and it's your companion also at the time. This is when I knew that in real life it could be a friend that can backstab me or I will have an argument with. And guess what? It actually happened. So that's how I can interpret the dream. You just have to know the symbol and the significance of that thing that you dream of. You dream of flying, and the higher you soar, the better it is. But if you couldn't fly, something is dragging you down in real life. So that was the last thing. There are other things that I also dreamt, uh, religious things as well. Dreamt of messengers and stuff like that. God himself. Since this is a very personal topic, I don't want to talk about any prophetic dream. So yeah, that will be all it. Let me just um, fix all that and I'll get back to you in a second. As you can see, I haven't touched these contacts yet. So I'm so excited to wear them and you'll see them.